They say this is a big rich town I just come from the poet's part Bright light city light. Jack Thriller and this is 50.com. That's it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So let's get right into it, man. Uh, let's first talk. off, I want to say I love James Parker. Thank um, you, man. Yeah. I appreciate that. Is it worth it? Your wife, your great job, and whatnot. You know, you own a club, it's successful. You're doing all the right things, man. But it seems like you've got to throw all of this away right now for <laughs> Layla, man. What's for, going on? For, you know, for, for Angela, absolutely. Uh, yeah, I don't think he would go for it if he didn't feel like it was worth it. You know, what he doesn't feel like is worth is getting uh, a relationship of strain between he and his kids. Mm -hmm. He doesn't feel like that's ever worth it. Mm -hmm. And I think I, I talked to Courtney about that in, in ways of, let's make sure that we always look like that's, you know, at the forefront of his mind of like, ah, but I could lose the kids. Mm -hmm. And so as long as, you know, we have sort of echoed that sentiment throughout his, uh, his journey of hurting folks that he shouldn't be hurting, then I think, you know, we can at least have some empathy for the fact that it does not look like it's worth it, and yet this knucklehead is still going for Angela when he's got a family and he's got the kids and, and, the, and the Truth Nightclub and all of those things. Mm -hmm. I think it is because at the end of the day, the Truth Nightclub is an example of that which the wife does not believe in. Mm -hmm. um, so in essence, figuratively speaking, brother, she doesn't believe in my truth, mm -hmm. you know, and perhaps that's why he named the club Truth. This is what he wanted. This is the truth of his life, of who he is. And uh, Angela sees it. So sometimes we decide in life that that person that sees you that, uh, that well, that clearly, um, even if you don't see yourself that well, they, they see you for you. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we decide that that's worth it, you know, losing all of these things. Hopefully if you can just hold on to your kids, which becomes the, the real thing, man. The real, the real battle is holding on to the kids and holding on to her. I think he's willing to walk away from a, a wife who doesn't believe in him the way he wants her to believe in them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, Angela, it looks like you just need a little excitement inside your life, man, and you, you seem lonely and whatnot, and if this is a little bit more interesting than, you know, the white dude that you was dealing with over at the <laughs> Right, I mean, I would like, I hope you think it's a little Knox. deeper than that. I think, like, what happens is, like, we as society put all these measures of success good job, a good this, good that, thinking that that's gonna fill that like forever empty part that's inside of mm -hmm. us. And on a soul level, yeah, she's lonely. Like she's cut off that big love that she felt. And so her relationship is perfunctory, right? Mm -hmm. And she's successful in his career, her career, and there's this expectation that that's gonna fulfill all of her. And then he comes along and he brings L-O-V-E back in all caps. And all of a sudden she realizes that she's like, parched, like so thirsty for something bigger and deeper. You say thirsty, is that more of infatuation when you say it? Or no, is it because I think that, people's? I think it's love. It's the way it's written is it's love and it's, cause you see Angela all of a sudden behaving in a way she's never behaved where like she gets to be girlish and this freed up part of her that was always so shut down before is starting to like kind of crack through the surface, uh. you know? And then all of a sudden, all of the perks of like, the case or job, it doesn't, it doesn't fill you in the same way. Mm. And the question, is, the, the hard part is, is that their love wasn't taken care of properly. There wasn't any like, you know, get a divorce, do this, then mm -hmm. come court me. Mm -hmm. She didn't hold her boundary up right, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, in a lot of areas, because she's still immature in that area, and so she's suffering the consequences of the choices to be the mistress, wow. right? What does that make yeah, her, her sense of herself, it. right? Right, right. Last question for you. Um, who's better in bed? Is it your wife or her? Because it looked like real porno sex with your wife. But when y'all do it, it's kind of, you know, it's, it's cool. I would say that it's all based on where he is, you know, and I would say to answer your question now, he's at a place where, again, we all know, we've all, you know, most of us um, watching the show have had sexual relationships in life. And so, because um, there's definitely those teenagers that haven't had sex that watch Power a lot. But for those of us that know the emotions, the varying emotions that come with gotcha. sex relationships, you know that where he's at with her, with Angela, uh, played by Leela, is at a place of, of feeling love. And where he has with Tasha, the love is there, but at the same token, it's not enough. So it becomes not a chore, but it becomes when they're having sex, but it comes a little bit more of a... Um, well, there's no intimacy. A, there's, a, there's a, we were to do this uh, 
thing called marriage, so I guess we should continue the facets of being married, which is to engage in sexual relationship. Mm -hmm. It becomes logically just played out, verse with her, he would do it on a park bench and get caught like they were teenagers. He's just gone, he's wide open. Which is why he's Jamie with her. He's not mm -hmm. Ghost, he's not James, he's Jamie with her. That's I had a whole a, different person. A guy you know? friend, he's like really in love, and the way he described, he's like, he's like, it's the first time I've ever had spiritual sex. Yeah, it's different. Wow, it's different. I appreciate this, guys. My man. Thank you. Good to see you again, brother. Just changed me. They say Thank this you. is a big rich town. I just come from the poet's part. Bright light, city life, I gotta make it. This is where it goes down. I never took a straight path nowhere. Life's full of twists and turns.